In this video, you will discover the reasons why 96% of startups fail. Coming up. So can you still remember what was the reason why you're doing what you're doing right now? Or can you still remember why did you start something maybe a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago and then you are stuck where you are right now? Or maybe the reason was you were inspired by other people who are doing the things that you want to have or you know already having the lifestyle or having to become an expert on something. Or there was a moment in your life where you just had aha uh -huh. those kind of stuff can you still remember and then what happened next did you succeeded or it just simply bombed right off the bat now what was the reason why it fails what what was the reason why it bombed so probably because you were so obsessed with that destination that you want to go and you kind of forget the process in between the journey in between to get from point a to point b now, can you still remember when was the last time you loved to have pain? Can you still remember when was the last time you said like, I really love to be frustrated. I really love to be disappointed. Can you still remember those times? If you're in point A right now and you want to reach point B, are you willing to become friends with those stuff? The frustration, the disappointments, the failure, the shame. Are you willing to become friends with them so that you can go one step closer to the destination that you want to be in? Now, 96 people will say, I'm done. I don't like it. I just, I, it's just not my thing. But on the other hand, there is always 4% that will say, okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. Let's crush them. Let's beat them up. So the question is, are you in the 4% or are you in the 96%? Now, probably some of you will say 96%, I'm good. You know, I'll just take the next opportunity that I will come across. So if you acknowledge those stuff, you will become ready to face all those obstacles. You will become ready to face all those objections, all those failures, all those disappointments, frustration, and shame. So if you really want to reach the destination, which is the point B, are you willing to face all the stuff? Are you willing to start small? Okay, whatever you do right now, are you willing to step down and you know think about it? Okay, this is what I want, which is the point B. How can I get there? Okay, what are the things that I can do in order for me to go one step closer to that destination every single day? What are the things that I can measure so that I know that I'm improving every single day as I am getting closer to that destination, which is point B. So think about it. Most people are seeing other people's success. They are seeing um, these people have the lifestyle that they want, which in the first place, they can already visualize themselves to be in that position. But what happened was they just quit right off the bat. When they saw these failures, when they saw these you know, obstacles, they just say like, I'm done. I'm just gonna go back to where I was. So are you willing to take all the stuff? And I also want you to remember that shortcut does exist, but th those shortcuts are only for people who are already gone through the entire process, who've already been in that journey, who have been in that process. Now they already have reached the point B. So when they're starting the next thing, you know, the next opportunity that they want to start, the next product, the next project. They already know what are the things or what it takes for them to go from point A to point B. That's why when they start another thing, they're just going to say, okay, I'm just going to take the plane instead of taking the bus or instead of taking the car. Instead of taking long drive, long trips, I'll just take the plane. I'm just going to pay whatever it takes for me to get from point A to point B. Because in this time, they are already valuing their time. Instead of wasting eight hours of road trip, they are just willing to pay what it takes so that they can get from point A to point B the fastest as they can. But if you're just starting out, you are not concerned about your time yet. You are more concerned about learning the process, learning all the journey, learning how to overcome failures, learning how to become resourceful so that you can go through that objection, you can go through that failure, you can go through the disappointments. So think about it. If you're just still starting, you know, be willing to take the long drive. If you already have success and you want to start something, then try to 
think about what are the things that can save you time. Are you willing to pay the price so that other people can do it for you so that you can save more time? So instead of doing the things, you know, all the things that you should, you know, you need to be doing, what if, if there is someone that can take care of that what if there is someone that can take care of it just say for example just shooting the video so what if if i can get a professional to shoot a video for me so what i only need to do is just talk to the camera and then once i'm done with talking to the camera i'm good then that video will just show up on social media and everywhere but if you're just still starting you really need to overcome the fears of facing the camera what are the things that you need to talk to what are the things or what what are the topics that you need to cover or what are the equipment that you need so that you can shoot the high quality videos that will match to the price that you are offering so don't really expect to charge high ticket prices if your video is just like okay so if i will not going to edit this video this is how it will look like okay straight off the camera but since I already gone through the journey, I already been in that process, I already learned the skills or what it takes for me to turn a video that is just okay and turn it to something like this. You know, you'll see the difference and you can go back to, you know, maybe 10 seconds so that you will see the difference, what it takes for you to tell your client that this is the price that we are charging. Instead of just having this kind of quality, and then you said like, I'm charging 10K or I'm charging 15K, I'm charging 5K, I'm charging 50K. And your video just looks like this. So think about it. Are you reasonable enough to charge someone based on your experience, based on the journey, based on the knowledge that you gain along the way, along the journey, and you know, do what it takes for you to charge those clients or those customers. So to recap, always remember this. Don't be obsessed on the destination, but fall in love by the process. Fall in love with the journey that you're gonna take on so that when you get there, everything will be worth it. And now, when you reach that destination, which is the point B, and you want to start another thing, now you have the position to say, I will go shortcut. Instead of taking the long way, I'll just take the shortcut. So I hope you learned something. And if you do, always remember sharing is caring, liking is loving, and commenting is something. So don't forget to do that. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.